Black holes are regions of space whose gravitational pull are so strong that no matter, energy, not even light can escape. And yet we know they too will die. We know this because of the work of Professor Stephen Hawking, who spent his life studying, among other things, black holes. Hawking is the most famous physicist since Einstein, and is well known for uncovering some of the universe's deepest mysteries, and even more impressive was his ability to explain, to translate those mysteries into something more people could understand, inspiring the next generation of scientists. We owe him a lot. Professor Stephen Hawking has passed away at the age of 76. He leaves behind a legacy of science and strength. Hawking discovered what's aptly called Hawking radiation, and what it means is that over time, long durations of time, black holes lose their mass, drift away, and disappear. Hawking also looked for a theory of everything. I mean everything, from how the universe will end to why you chose the shirt you did today. At certain points in his career, he thought he was getting close. Until 2010, he declared there may not be one, and that that might be a good thing. With his no boundary proposal, he challenged the Big Bang Theory, suggesting that it may be possible to predict what occurred before the Big Bang, which he said was potentially not the beginning. He also worked on how galaxies could arise, parallel universes, he was very interested in the search for intelligent aliens, and warned mankind somewhat sternly about how artificial intelligence could be the end of the human species. But one of his biggest contributions is how he could explain all these insanely complex topics to everyday people like us. His book, A Brief History of Time, has sold over 10 million copies. Outside of science, Hawking was known for his sense of humor. I don't know which is a bigger disappointment. My failure to formulate a unified field theory, or you. But his biggest contribution to humankind has to be a message of perseverance. When Hawking was diagnosed with ALS at the age of 21, he was given three years to live. He ended up living until he was 76. In his later years, he was taken in a plane to experience zero gravity, and when he asked why he wanted to do that aside from the fun of it, he said, I want to show that people need not be limited by physical handicaps as long as they are not disabled in spirit. And losing Dr. Stephen Hawking, the world loses a genius and a truly inspirational person.